If you're into DIY or you have old artwork that you just want to refresh, all you have to do is get a free hanging canvas and put it over it. Let me show you how. Hello, it's been a while. Happy New Year. I hope the New Year is treating you well. Um, I just went and dropped off a package at the post office. Still pretty early in the morning, but I want to go ahead and do this video because I'm excited to see my new wall art. I got a canvas. It's a free hanging canvas and it should cover one of the uh, canvases that I already bought. I went to the Goodwill Clearance Center. There's a big warehouse here. Things are stupid low price. Like I got this picture, let me show you guys. This is a four by four canvas and it's framed. And then I just went and got a wall decor canvas that will cover this. That's supposed to be the same size. So I'm gonna open it and actually I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer. Hopefully I am in frame here because I want you guys to see this thing is huge for the price that I paid. It's a steal, more than a steal. See, so they tagged it for me as sold. This was $6, you guys, six bucks. Look how thick that frame is. Like, that's a steal, six bucks. And like I said, it's four feet by four feet. And this should be the same. I got this from Big Wall Decor, ordered it offline, my first time purchasing and I hope that it's going to fit. So when you open it, it comes with this little foam thing to protect the top. I'm sure I can find use for this, so I'll be saving it. Looks like we've got some packaging and paper. Saving that, we're gonna be moving soon. So I'm gonna have some really, really exciting news for you guys coming soon. This is the wall art. Looks like it was sent with some push pins. I don't know that I like that idea that it's taped right to the thing. If you don't know that, you could puncture your, the skin. As you can see, one of them is sticking right out of the plastic. So they don't get points for that. All right, let's take these push pins off and then open this thing up. I'm excited. Yeah, so they're gonna give you four push pins. I guess you could just hang this up with push pins. We're not gonna be doing that, but no judgment because definitely, definitely, definitely have hung things up with push pins before. But I'm just not gonna be hanging this one with any push pins. All right, Ugh, this thing is it's kind of hard to get off. Okay. Got one of the plastic things off. All right, so if you take the plastic off, then you can take the tape off the canvas. Hopefully all of this tape comes off and it comes off smoothly and it is great. Yep, that's coming right off. So I was getting ready to say, why would you tape the canvas? We don't want any sticky residue or anything like that on that. Hoping that I am in frame for you guys. If I am not, I truly apologize. Recording this on my phone, so. Yes, I'm recording it on my phone, yes. All right, moment of truth. I am unrolling the canvas. Oh, it's pretty thick. I like the uh, the material of whatever this is. It's really nice. And it seems like they cut it with a hot tool or something. So the edge of it is um, not going to fray. Love that for me. So we don't have time for any fraying. And this was like 80 something dollars. I'll insert the actual 
price I paid for it. I think it was 90 with tax. I did get 15% off or 20% off with the code that they emailed me. And you can use that right away on your first purchase. So I was excited about that. Okay, it goes this way from the picture. It actually goes this way. I'm excited. I'm picking up what I'm putting down, right? <laughs> So this is to cover this. Not that this is in beautiful artwork, it's just not the vibe I'm going for. And I definitely um, don't like that little pop of uh, sky blue in there. It's something a little more modern. So I'm going to cover this and then we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Okay? All right, so I went and got my light because it was a little dark in here. I'm gonna use a um, microfiber towel and some Pledge, clean it. I'm going to spray it on the towel first and then I'm gonna wipe it down. Now over here I have my hot glue gun warming up. That's how I'm gonna secure the canvas. You can use command strips or even, I was gonna use this double side uh, sticky tape that I got from Dollar Tree, that works really well. Um, I use them on some napkin ring holders that I made. Check out that DIY if you have a chance, but yeah, that worked really well. So I was gonna do that, but I do want this to be permanent, you know? So because I want this to be permanent, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the hot glue gun to secure it. And I'm just trying to get inside here along the edge of the canvas as well, where I'll be gluing just to make sure there's no dirt or debris. There are a couple little scratches and things through here. Um, not anything that's terrible. And at some point, if I do want to change the frame, I could just spray paint over it, tape everything down, and then spray paint over it. Right now, I'm just going with this brushed nickel look, or I don't know what this is. I want to say it's brushed nickel. So now that that's done, we are going to go ahead and hot glue the canvas down. i sure whoever had this painting loved it and now it's gonna be loved a second time. And kept from the landfill would be the solution, not the problem. So if you can find things and reuse them and keep them out of the landfill, why not, you know? So yeah, it goes this way. So here, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to apply glue here, trace it all the way down, and then seal the corners down. Okay, so I believe my hot glue gun is ready. I actually did use the push pins they sent, and I took one, put it in the corner, one in the middle here, and then one on the edge just so I can secure it while I'm putting the glue down. So I'm gonna change the angle because I can't do this with one hand. Okay, so I set you guys back up there on the tripod. I'm just going to take off the first stick pin. Making sure I put a bead of glue. Bring you guys closer so you can see 
So I pulled everything down and I'm just gluing in spaces. And you can kind of see that the glue was raised just a little bit. I mean, this is all the way tucked into the corner. So from the front, you can't see that at all. It's nicely tucked down in there and you just see that black space and then the frame. So it's not too bad. And again, like I said, with this way, it'll be repositionable. I don't have to worry about um, the actual canvas getting damaged. And if I want to hang it on another frame, I can take it off. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other sides and I'll be back. So this is the finished piece. I am so pleased with it. I love how it came out. Even the frame. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Girl, you all did yourself on this one. Pat on the back. Pat, pat that back. <laughs> I really, really like how it came out. I really thought the gray in this would look good with this picture frame, and it does. So you've got your gray, you've got your like linen color, some of that beige, black, and then those two purple colors with that little hint of mustard there. And then over here on this side, you've even got some of that um, like cream colors. So I really, really like how it came out. And there's just a little bit of puckering here. So I'll go back through and finish that. I actually plan on even making the sides of this black so you can't see any of that. I'll probably go through and paint the sides black just to blend in even more. But I really, really like how it came out. Comment down below, tell me what you think. Would you do this yourself? I did purchase this from the company Big Wall Decor. And this is the free hanging canvas. Of course, I purchased the free hanging canvas just because I already had a canvas for it to go on. But if you don't and you need a frame, they do sell frames also with a canvas that you just insert. And because these are kind of a fabric material, you can change out your artwork whenever you want to. So I really do like this company. I would purchase from them again. Hopefully they see this and they see what I'm trying to do with my color scheme <laughs> and send me something because I definitely, definitely, definitely will do another review. I would purchase from them again. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I really, really like it. And you'll see it on the wall when I hang it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really like how this came out. If you like how this turned out, please like, please subscribe. There's more coming. I like to do DIYs. I like to do DIYs that may not look like DIYs. And I definitely have a bunch coming up for, for you. We are going to be moving. We did get a house and I'm so excited to share an empty, empty tour, empty house tour with you. Also try to get this thing furnished. We will be getting rid of 75% of our stuff just because it does not go with the house. And it's things that we need to get rid of anyway. We are selling a bunch of things and just preparing to move in the next couple of months. So thank you guys so much for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe. I see you new subscribers. I appreciate you new subscribers and my oldies but goodies as well. We'll see you next time. Bye.